You okay, man? You piss yourself a little bit or what? In Pueblo, New Mexico, that is Officer Lockwood. He is getting educated on constitutional rights. Lee, otherwise, otherwise we're going to have an issue. Please. Why is that? Because you're interfering with my stop. Your stop is gone. Yeah, now my stop is gone after you've been here the whole time. So here's the deal. You no, no, there's no car. deal. Yeah. There's no deal. You can either get back in your car and you can leave, or I can get your identification, okay? Well, that's not going to work because Lockwood is facing off against a man who knows better. What's your name? My name's Officer Lockwood. Officer Lockwood with what department? And you're telling me you're going to get my ID for standing on a public easement recording you? Yeah, it is you? a public easement, but you're interfering with my stop. Hi, your stop is gone, yeah, son. Now my stop's gone, but you're interfering How with How did I interfere stop. with it? Okay. You might, you, might, you might want to go look up that statute and get a supervisor, son, or just get in your car and leave. That'd be best. Okay. You, Officer you, Lockwood chooses not to leave, so the humiliation is only going to intensify. This began when James Freeman, one of America's most fearless and compelling auditors, and who runs this YouTube channel, pulled up to the traffic stop. The driver of the gray car had allegedly been speeding. Good, how are you, man? Just working, how about you? Just working? Yes, sir. Hey, you can film, that's totally fine. I know. I'm just gonna ask you to not interfere with my stop, okay? Officer Lockwood tries to engage in small talk. It backfires in humorous fashion. I can't hear you. What are you looking for? Money? Money? Gotcha. What are you working for? This should have been the moment when Officer Lockwood realized he was in over his head. They're giving you a ticket? Speeding? What's that? For speeding? You can film, that's fine. Just go stand over by your car. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. What's that? You got the wrong one. I got the wrong one. Just carry on. Do your business. You need to back up, otherwise you are interfering with my stop. Well, we I've been cordial with you so far. You need to stop talking. Okay. After being shushed and humiliated, the officer then focuses on the driver. About a minute later... You okay, man? You piss yourself a little bit or what? Leave. Otherwise, otherwise we're going to have an issue. Why is that? Because you're interfering with my stop. Right? Your stop is gone. Yeah, now my stop is gone after you've been here the whole time. So here's the deal. You no, 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 there's no car. deal. Yeah. There's no deal. You can either get back in your car and you can leave, or I can get your identification, okay? What's your name? My name's Officer Lockwood. Officer Lockwood with what department? And you're telling me you're going to get my ID for standing on a public easement recording yeah, you? Yeah, it's a public easement, but you're interfering with my stop. How, your stop is gone, yeah, son. Now my stop's gone, but you're interfering How with How did I interfere stop. with it? Okay. You, you, wanna, you might want to go look up that statute and get a supervisor, son, or just get in your car and leave. That'd be best. Okay. You, you, think, that, you think that you're the first clown I've ever dealt with? No, I know, I know you're not the first, the first person I've ever dealt with. Okay, just leave. Go do your work. Hey guys, it's uh, it's in New Mexico. It is P O J O A Q U E. Hey, what's up, boss? What's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm James. Chirhill. Chirhill, good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Are you a sergeant or? No. I'm okay. Just cool. Um, what's this guy's name again? Lockwood. Officer Lockwood. Yeah, Officer Lockwood. So you're not his supervisor? No. Can we get his supervisor out here to spank him a little bit? You can go contact our office. And, okay. And talk yeah, to him there. Right. Swatch your attitude. Do it here I, don't, I don't have an attitude. Here, you know? Good. All right. Hey, have a good one, brother. As Officer Lockwood gets dismissed... Hey, the next time I come out here and record you, I expect no lip from you. You understand me? Then drives away in shame, Officer Trujillo sticks around. No, I'm in a public space. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm on a public easement. There's no sidewalk. It's a public easement. You, you were doing good. Just, you know... Shin and in. Officer Trujillo uses his cruiser as a shield. <laughs> You're good, bro. You're good. Hey, if I were gonna hurt you, I'd hurt you. If you were gonna, 
If, if someone's going to hurt you, they're going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just here to record, bro. You're not going to hurt me recording. There's nothing wrong with you yeah. recording. Yeah. Uh, and I get it. You want to take the side here. Don't. Do me a favor, though. Just between you and me, we won't tell anybody. Will you spank the child when you get back to the office? So what did he do? He's just bullying me, telling me, threatening me for being here recording him. That's all. Just, you know, just bullying me and threatening me. Okay. I'm not a supervisor. If you want that to happen, you don't talk about that. Hey, you know what? If, if between me and you, you tell me that you'll spank him good, we'll just leave it at that. Just give him a little swat on the bum and tell him bad boy. <laughs> all right. Thank you, brother. You too. Mm, kudos to James Freeman for his determination, wit, and sense of humor. In the battle against state tyranny, Freeman is an absolute gem. His videos remind us that in America, we are supposed to have certain unalienable constitutional rights. This includes free speech. The courts have long held that citizens can insult, mock, and taunt law enforcement officers, and even tell cops to go F themselves. It is all protected speech. And if a police officer's feelings get hurt, too bad. Relatedly, the courts have held that all citizens can record a police officer or other government official in public. This includes recording conversations with police when they have detained you. And if you are a third party recording a police interaction with someone else, the only restriction in some states is that you stay at least six feet away. Now, to be clear, police are free to ask anybody for an ID. However, unless police have reasonable, articulable suspicion that you have committed a crime or broken a law, Citizens are under no obligation to provide ID. And again, if an officer's feelings get hurt, so be it. The police are law enforcement officers, not feelings enforcement officers. Although too many police don't understand that until they get confronted by an educated citizen like James Freeman. By the way, in Oklahoma, police and sheriff's deputies are now turning on each other. You can get the out of my face. I don't who you are in oklahoma that is a cleveland county sheriff's deputy insulting a local lexington police officer okay back up, back this up. is my county back too up, back up back up back up you don't you need to stop lexington PD is not chill out back up everything's going to be okay but you need to back up i get it that you're no, you can back up. negative this right here ain't we're not going to be distressed in the white hat, that is the Cleveland County Sheriff. Okay. The sheriff, you need to back up out of my face, sir. You have no authority. That, you're not going to tell me what to do, my You're not going to get in my sheriff's hey, face. You want to do Just like you told me. Your hands off me, man. Back up, John. Pull him, pull him back. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from DaddyAF945, who wrote, If they're this disgusting to each other, how do you think they're rolling up on a kid walking down the street? Indeed, and that's why a lot of people refer to police as the most dangerous gang in America. I look forward to reading your comments about the remarkable and amusing pushback by James Freeman. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.